so today uh, we will discuss about a very very important topic uh, this topic especially once you get into job in sap basically your problem starts from this place why because once you tagged into any project either it is implementation support or testing or enhancement or whatever it is so you need to start your work with sap systems right but uh, the thing is whatever you learning from up to now like uh, in finance training or in fico training see you can see in our uh, system logins i will open my system so while we are providing the demo systems and all like the practicing systems so here usually we will start our system like this right the user and as well as the password okay but where it comes to practicality hello okay but where it comes to reality this system setups is not looks like this this is just to practicing server okay so in this practicing server usually uh, you started our configuration and you maintained our configuration so within one system only right so we are giving access to this system and even you will start our configuration and your practicing whatever things you made this system only but where it comes to real time this is entirely different why because in real time the system landscape is the basically in sap we have three systems and before that what do you mean by landscape what do you mean by system landscape so system landscape is nothing but the arrangement of servers here you can see landscape is like a server system or are like a layout of the servers or are some way even call it in the architecture of the servers sap divided into three different landscapes development quality and production so basically in sap we have three type of systems so this is the very basic point but the fact is while we are working with any real time projects so how we can move our data from one system to another system so with the help of tr the transport request so we are getting so many uh, different cases and so many uh, challenges we are facing at that time okay so regarding that one so today i will try to explain the complete things which is related to the real time project also okay so the basic point is what is the system landscape system landscape is nothing but arrangement of servers basically in sap we have three types of systems one is development system and the second one is quality system and the third one is production system and again in development system so we have multiple clients and where it comes to quality again we have multiple clients and where it comes to production again we have one or two clients here you can see in development the multiple clients like 190 is sandbox and 100 is golden client and 180 is unit test okay and when it comes to quality here you can see the client 300 we are using for integration testing and 700 to 710 we are using for training purposes so likewise these systems in real time we can see n number of systems while you are working with real time systems okay so even uh, we cannot expect uh, that number of systems also i can see uh, more than 120 plus systems also in my earlier project okay even in my current project also we have more than uh, 70 plus systems but the fact is uh, once we have this much of systems definitely we are getting confusion like on which system exactly i need to go i need to start my configuration and again that changes again will goes into next what is the system and how this process is going on real time so these are all things today we will try to discuss okay so basically the development system 
is where the consultants do, do customizations as per the company requirement. Usually in real time projects in development system, we are maintaining our configuration. We are maintaining our total customization part as per the company's requirement. And where it comes to quality system, this system especially we are using for testing purpose. Whatever the configurations, whatever the customizations we maintain in development system. So again, we are doing the testing whether this configuration and whether this con uh, this customizations is as per the company's requirement or not. So we need to cross check. We need to test in this quality system. So once we perform the once we perform the testing in quality system and later finally we are moving our data into production system. So again in testing we have different types of testing like unit testing, uh, functional testing, integration testing, user acceptance testing, regression testing. So even in our upcoming classes. So we have one or two classes is there regarding to that uh, testing project also. So at that time I will explain very clearly. So not only theoretical point of view, even in practical point of view also how we will perform these different types of testing in any implementation project. OK, so those things also we will uh, uh, we need to learn in our upcoming sessions. And the next one is uh, these are the common points. And uh, already I told you basically in GUI in R3 onwards we have three tires of uh, three tire architecture will be there. It means in our SAP systems we have three layers. One is a presentation layer and application layer and the database layer. So database server uh, basically we are installing for the database storage and where it comes to application server exactly where SAP installed and where SAP logics is working in this application server and where it comes to presentation server the GUI whatever you can see in our uh, uh, SAP systems so this is comes into GUI presentation server. So here you can see development quality and production again in development we have multiple clients quality we have different types of clients and production we have different types of clients. Sometimes some business uh, organizations what uh, they will maintain. So based on the regions also like Europe, North America, Asia, Latin America based on the regions wise also they will maintain their systems differently. Like for Europe you can see in development system for Europe region they will be maintaining XEQ and XEP. And where it comes to the development system for North America, you can see XNQ and XXP. So likewise regions also region based on the regions also the business will maintain the different system. Not only regions as per the business requirement. Uh, the, the systems arrangements and all taken care by the basis team or charm team in real time working environment. OK, so that's the reason only I told you. So in real time we can see lot of systems. But the basic point is we have three systems only, right? Development, quality and production. But where it comes to inside the development, inside the quality, inside the production, again we have multiple clients, multiple systems. So I will tell you those are all points, no worry. And here there is a concept system clone, system copy, and the system refresh. So the thing is system clone means we know whatever the data we maintain in production. So M data we will be maintaining in another production systems also. Why? Because if something is happened or is something is happened because of the hacking of these systems or is there any other chances like there is some technical glitches and all once we data is deleted once our data is deleted in production system. So especially to avoid those situations usually some clients they will be maintaining their system clone systems also clone systems. So clone systems is nothing but whatever the real system data is there same data they will be maintaining in clone systems also. And what is the use? What is the advantages once the main system is crashed? 
due to some technical problems or a hacking problems or whatever it is again we are rebacking our data with this clone systems and when it comes to system copy system copy system copy is nothing but whatever the data we have in production so we are copying to testing and quality systems also because of uit user acceptance testing so i will tell you in upcoming sessions this point very clearly and the system refresh so this is a common activity will be performed by the business especially every 3 months every 6 months the business will perform the refresh of the systems especially to speed up our systems okay so for that purpose they are uh, going with system refresh also usually while we are working in real time so you can see you can uh, listen these type of words system clone system copy and system refreshes these are all points okay so this is my earlier uh, systems uh, uh, different systems in my earlier project you, here you can see so likewise we have multiple systems while we are working with real time you can see they will be maintaining like this multiple systems already i told you so here you can see this is the development system d01 this is the development system e01 this is the development system e24 and this is the production system and this is the production system production 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 and here you can see quality assurance quality assurance quality assurance quality assurance so likewise while we are working with any real time projects basically every businesses they will be maintaining as per their requirement as per their choice they will be maintaining n number of systems in sap being a consultant we need to understand that system landscape to your particular project and we need to adapt those situation and according to that we need to perform our roles and responsibilities so please try to understand once we are get into job or once we are tagged into any project in sap basically our first problem starts with this scenario only why because out of the systems you will get the confusion and exactly which system i need to open and which system i need to maintain my configuration and again from this system to next system how i will move my data so these are all practical things uh, you can uh, get in once you are tagged into any type of projects in sap okay so the next point so anyone have any doubts up until now is it clear Yes. Yeah, yes, sir. I have doubt. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, development quality production system. Which is cheaper than that? That low. Which is one testing unit testing regression testing. It's a test system. Are we AV testing? Which is that? Are we AV testing? And sorry, I didn't get your question correctly. And the at last, if you look at. Man, which is the AP, AR, AS accounting. It's a different, different kind of thing. Yes. Data science, such a at last. అట్లా ఫస్ట్ ఏది టెస్ట్ టెస్టింగ్ అంటే నాకు రియల్ టైం నాలెడ్జ్ లేదు కాబట్టి అడుగుతున్నాను యా 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 ఏది ఫస్ట్ టెస్ట్ చేస్తారు ఏంటి అనేది అగైన్ ఇట్ విల్ టేక్ మనం చేసే వర్క్ కి అసలు ఎట్లా టెస్ట్ ఏది టెస్ట్ చేయాలి ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ దోస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ పాయింట్స్ ఇట్ విల్ కవర్ అప్ అవర్ అప్కమింగ్ క్లాసెస్ అగైన్ ఇట్ విల్ టేక్ 2 వీక్స్ ఆఫ్ టైం ఓకే ఓకే సో ద థింగ్ ఇస్ ఇన్ అవర్ ట్రైనింగ్ సెషన్ whatever you are asking that will be cover no doubt at all not only theoretical even practically also i will show you how we will perform this testing and uh, how how we will start first test or second test or third test or whatever the different uh, types of testings we followed so those are all things i will try to explain theoretically and as well as practically also okay but not today class uh tick 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 any other doubts am i anyone have any other doubts is it uh, clear yeah okay yeah so next next you can see 
the system landscapes the different uh, uh, systems what which type of persons is using this